continuing with geometry proofs uh, we have taken we are going to prove a very important result which we will be using to prove Pythagoras theorem so the question is is the diagram shown ABC is a right angle ADB is a right angle and BDC is also a right angle there are three right angles so this is the mother right angle and I call these the dotted triangles. So this is this BD is perpendicular. So let me write that BD line segment BD is perpendicular to AC. Okay, so because of that, you've got two dotted triangles, and the mother triangle is already a right angle. So we want to prove this mother triangle ABC is similar to the dotted triangle ADB. The proof is very simple. If you want to prove two triangles similar, you have to prove that the angles are, corresponding angles are equal or congruent. So what I've done is I have taken this triangle ABC and copied it. And then I have taken this triangle ADB and flipped it over. So I hope you understand what this triangle is. This is, this triangle is taken out from here and put here by flipping. Okay, so flipping, uh, turning D and putting it uh, on the uh, horizontal. So this triangle, now angle ABD and angle ABC, sorry, triangle angle ABC, so let me write angle ABC is equal to angle ADB. Why? Because both are 90 degrees, or both right angles. Angle, this angle, I'm putting a dot there, angle BAC is equal to, you say BAC, or you say DAB. DAB is equal to DAB. Why? Because they are the same angle because they are the same angle okay now if these two angles are equal this is 90 this is 90 if this is if this and this are equal because they are the same angle you can understand logically this has to be this side or this angle is equal to this angle okay because uh, this you know that these two adds to 90 logically also you can understand if two angles of one triangle is congruent to the corresponding angles of the other triangle the third has to be equal so say if this is say x you can understand this would be 90 minus x in the same way so if this is x this would also be 90 minus x because the three angles of a triangle adds to 360 so you already got 90 so these two should add up to 90 okay so let me write it in a better way so let me write uh, so this angle would also be 90 minus x so we have proved that so let me write so angle a c b is equal to angle a d b a D P. We said that both are 90 minus X. Okay. Now we have proved that all corresponding angles, this is congruent to this, this and this are right angle and this and this are equal. So we can say that triangle A B A B C, that's the mother triangle, is similar. This is the notation of similar. Is let me write that better. Triangle A B C is similar to triangle ADB. Okay, now if two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. That means AB, if you take the ratio of AB to AD, so let me write that first. So what do I mean? So if two triangles are similar, I can say that the ratio of AB over AD, because AB corresponds to AD would be equal to BC 
BC corresponds to DB or BD. I am writing in the same order. Is equal to AC. Now AC would correspond to AB. Yeah. Okay. So I will repeat it again. AB, the ratio of AB to AD. Oh, I should have written AB, AD there. Always good to check. AB over AD. AB over AD is equal to BC over DB is equal to AC over AB. Now, what do we want? We want AB squared. The second result is AB squared. So, which ratio should I take so that I get AB squared? You've got three ratios. So, if you want to get AB squared, you have to have AB in the numerator and the denominator. So, if you look carefully, I can delete this in the next step. So, this is something that I don't need. Okay, so I'm going to write this again. So, can I like, write like this? AB over AD is equal to AC over AB. Okay, now I'll give you a very simple result of ratio. Suppose if you know one half is same as five tenths. So, you can cross multiply the numbers. So, can I say one times ten is same as two times five? Okay, that you know one times. So, let me give you one more example. Suppose if you have got say three fifth is equal to six tenths. So, can you cross multiply? Yes, you can. So, three times ten is equal to five times six. That's right. So, in the same way, these two are ratios which are equal. So, I can cross multiply. So, I can say, okay, then this is AB times AB is equal to AD times AC. That's what we want to prove. Yeah, that's what we got. So, AB times AB is AB squared is equal to AD times AC. So, we have proved both the result. I'll do two more videos and ultimately we'll prove the Pythagoras theorem using these, th uh, th these two proofs.